What's up, everybody? How's it going? It is Matt, and it is Bloodthirsty Thursday. First and foremost, I hope each and every one of you are having a fantastic morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that great jazz, because that's what's most important in life, is keeping yourself happy, keeping your friends happy, or family, your, all your loved ones, keeping them happy, because, yes, that's what's important. Uh, anyways, 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 I am so happy to see each and every one of your faces today. I got a really good one, one that uh, uh, I just re-watched it again just before this review, just just because I felt like it and uh, this is like my third time I believe seeing this film uh, it's it's uh, one I didn't see until a uh, um, couple of weeks ago actually and it's been out since 1988 uh, it's one that uh, just it flew under my radar for years and then by the time I knew about it it was on a very old out of print DVD that um, I was refusing to pay the money for uh, just because it would would have been a 100% blind buy uh, although I have seen I did see one other film from this director beforehand and I did do a rev I think I did a review of it I'm not I can't remember if I did or not uh, on the Manson family uh, film that he made that one is really good uh, very out there and and uh, in your face much like this one this is a very intense film it's it doesn't uh, pull any punches needless to say and like I said, let's get on to this one. Like I said, this came out in 1988. Uh, so like, uh, what is that, 32 years ago? It's been a hot minute. Uh, this is a run. This one here runs at an hour and 21 minutes. I know for sure this one has definitely suffered from being cut in the past, uh, especially overseas in like the UK area because you guys love to just... Censorship is just a just uh, uh trampled on over there it's it's or censorship censorship runs wild over there especially uh in those days the old draconian days of of films uh especially the 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 days of the video nasties now this one uh i don't know if this would have been on a video nasties list if it is it would be on the section three list which i only know a little bit about section three uh, I've yet to really delve into it. I've done a really good thorough deep dive of sections one and two, but uh, three I have yet to get. Like I have, so I have a good chunk of them. Like I have probably like thirty of them. Uh, I just I've seen a f probably a couple dozen, but uh, maybe a dozen. I don't know. I just I'd have to look at the list again to see what's on there because I can't remember for the life of me. You know, you got seventy two titles in the original first and second one. You know, and and you got all those other titles for section three. So it's like you got to keep keep uh, track over a hundred titles um, to to know the whole list. So that's why I'm thankful of my phone. I can always. Google that one and, and see what's all in the uh, video nasties archives as far as sections one through three. Uh, now this one stars and is directed by Jim Van Beber, who, uh, uh, like I said, the Manson Family movie that he did uh, is really good. Um, I've seen the the shorts that were on here. It was like Gator Green. Um, oh, which that one cracks me up because there's a whole thing about how. Um, Stephen Biro from Unearthed Films is in that one, and he gets very forcefully full Nelson and dunked into the river like like a bag of tea. Uh, it is quite humorous. Um, I you could definitely see the the fear in old Stephen's eyes when he did that because. Bam Beber is known to be a madman. Uh, I'd love to party with the guy at least once, man. Uh, it'd be awesome. Uh, I'd love to hear the shit he'd have to say. I'd just love to hear the shit he'd have to talk as well because he he is a very crass uh, individual from what I've, what I've read and seen about him. Uh, very, very, uh, very, um, uh, beats to the drum of his very, beats to a uh, drum of his very own, you know, he doesn't really walk or conform to any other other kind of uh, of filmmaking or just in life in general. He's kind of a rebel, re just just uh, always against 
authority type uh question everything kind of type you know i mean the guy's the guy's a, a beast he's awesome and i'm just gonna go ahead and throw that out there and it's j uh deadbeat at dawn <clears throat> and this also stars paul harper uh playing um oh shoot what is his name uh uh is it billy I've just, I've all of a sudden forgot, even though I just watched this. But um, he is a the rival gang of the Ravens, and uh, or the Spiders. Excuse me, Goose, who is played by Jim Van Beber, is the leader of the Spiders at the at the moment. Um, now this is a very cool. Let's get before I get onto the film. I I want to show you the release itself. This is from Arrow Films. This is a standard issue Blu-ray from them. I wasn't cool enough to get that that slip cover that I really don't care about, um, which is okay with me. Um, there is zero reversible artwork on this one, but you do get some artwork on the inside. Let me just pop that off of there so you guys can take a gander at it. There you go, some fun stuff in there. And like I said, this is a standard issue pressed Blu-ray. Um, I almost forgot it upstairs in the Blu-ray player, but as I started walking away from the from the the player, I was like, "Oh yeah, I gotta grab that bad boy so I can so I don't do the uh, the dreaded um, watch a movie." put the case away and forget where the movie is because I that happened to me one time and it wasn't to my own fault it was somebody else had put a put the disc in a wrong case and for like a year I was searching for this damn movie I went out and bought another one on top of it and then it turns out we ended up finding it like I knew it would happen eventually but like within a week after buying one I ended up finding it so that shows what kind of shit that is <laughs> I said shit a lot in this one so far um, and, and like I said, this one does, like, since it's Arrow, this one does, is stacked with, with special features. There's, um, there's, uh, a bunch of short films, uh, uh, what was it, Gator Green, uh, Roadkill, My Sweet Satan, and Into the Black. I believe that was all of them that were on there, um, but, uh, very, very good stuff. Um, there's some... I'm just going to show that to you guys because I'm, I'm going to be standing here forever trying to read that off to you guys. There you guys go. Stacked to the gills as usual. Um, now, what is this one about? Um, it's about this guy named Goose, and Goose is, is a... Uh, like I said, he's the leader of the the Ravens, and he is kind of a kung fu badass like guy who um, falls in love with this other girl who happens to be happens to be kind of a uh, uh, I don't want to say a gypsy type, but she is a she kind of believes in fortune telling and things of that nature. She's very uh, 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 gosh, what would I say? Very. Uh, uh, hardcore with her religious beliefs. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. I don't, you know, that's, that's, that's your own, own thing. I could care less. Um, but, um, she's very, very, uh, uh, dedicated to what she believes. And she believes that if she gives this pendant to Goose, he'll, he'll live and he'll survive. Um, he refuses to wear it, blah, 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 blah. Eventually, she die, get, is murdered brutally by this dude named Bone Crusher, and I can't remember the other guy's name. But they break into his joint and, like, smash the shit out of her with... Uh, there I go with it again. Uh, they smash the hell out of her with, with uh, uh, golf clubs. And, and the whole time, Bone Crusher's talking about snakes, little snakes coming out of her stomach, talking about her intestines looking like snakes and this and that um very very uh, uh uh raw scene you know you don't sit there they don't sit there and show you like like the guts coming out or anything like that uh but you do see them smashing down they're clearly hitting something you just don't you don't it's you're not seen from from uh you're only seeing it from from 
down below looking up to them, essentially, or off to the side looking at them. You don't really uh, uh, get a good look at the body itself. Uh, as a matter of fact, you don't really get to see much of the dead body at all, even after Goose comes and discovers uh, this girl dead. And he... he uh, the reason why they he's always uh, had a um, a thing against the uh, the a rivalry against the the leader of the the group the Ravens and and he uh, um, I mean the spiders duh God my gosh I am fumbling left left and right over this one guys I am so sorry but the leader of the spiders him and and uh, Goose have a, a rivalry. And it starts off with a, a nice little scene of them showing their kind of ri how how uh, cutthroat they are to each other. Starts off with a scene where they're in a uh, uh, looks like a cemetery type place, and or it is a cemetery, excuse me. Um, that they meet both the rival both gangs meet up there. Uh, there's a whole little showdown between the, both leaders where they go at it with with they have a nice little knife fight. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, Goose knocks out Billy's teeth, a couple of his teeth. Um, I think that's his name. I can't. I wish I could remember now off the top of my head. But anyways, um, he is. I'm having a hard time with this one today, folks. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I'm re I'm recording this a little earlier than usual, so my brain is is not fully awake. I know that's that's a horrible ex excuse, but uh, either way, uh, the basic gist of the movie is he is re on a revenge to kill to go after the people that killed his girlfriend. In the process, he is he is taken back into the gang. Uh, by force, essentially, uh, to do this one last uh, uh, big ordeal, which is a heist on a on a bank robbery or on an armored truck, excuse me. Uh, and um, they need they need Goose to to come in and and be a part of the the uh, the the heist because they can't do it without him. Why I don't know. I mean, apparently because he throws a Chinese star better than anyone else, a shuriken or whatever they call those things. Um, he throws those throwing stars better than anyone. I don't know. He climbs down this 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 uh, parking ra uh, ramp, and it's kind of cool watching him do that. Because I'll give this uh, to Van Beber. The guy is a beast. He does all of his own stunts. It looks like uh, he was doing all of his own own fight sequences. And I think I saw something where it took like four years to film this. And so I imagine there was a lot of uh, chore choreography that were was. Uh, uh, a lot uh, of practice on that, maybe or not. Um, I imagine a lot of this, if not a hundred percent of this, was guerrilla filmed, uh, where which meaning they did not have. Um, uh, 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 permits to go and do film in these places. They just went in, filmed real quick, got the hell out of there. Uh, went to on to another place, filmed real quick, got the hell out of here. Uh, one of those kind of kind of ordeals. I love films like that. They they have a lot of grit and, and uh, um, uh, determination, and they're just fun. And they're in there. This one is in your face fun. Um, so. You got the gist of the story. It's pretty easy. It's pretty pretty uh, basic as far as like how like how it, it builds up in the the middle bleh, the beginning, middle, and end. It all is pretty basic on its sense, but it's the way it delivers it is what makes it del different. Um, he gr makes a great anti-hero in here, uh, Van Beber does. Um, so, like, on some sort of technical side, this thing's probably like a three or a four. I'm going to give it a four on the technical side just because there's so much, uh, the fight sequences are so good. The acting is fun. Uh, the, the the story delivers really cool. It, like, it delivers at a, a very good pace. I never found myself bored. Uh, so keep that in mind if you guys ever do check this out. It is not a boring one. It is fun. Um, I 
think they did this on uh, uh, Joe Bob Riggs last last whatever show that his show on on Shutter. I can't remember the name of it, uh, just because I have never seen an episode and I don't I don't have Shutter. So sorry, I'm missing out. Uh, anywho's, um, I know I'm missing out because I loved my, um, uh, his show when I was growing up. I can't remember the name of it. Man, my memory is like fell apart right when I pushed record on this one today. I don't know what happened. <laughs> but uh, let's get over to an entertainment thing. This is a solid 5. This thing's a 9 out of 10 in my opinion. This is a very good movie. Uh, I could watch this over and over and over again without getting bored or tired of it. Uh, I hold this up there with like like one of one of the other cool ones that I really really liked uh, out of the recent stuff that I've seen was the ex the uh, um, exterminator. Uh, that one was probably is like I like that one a little more than this, but it is just like this is I hold this up there with is how solid this is. And by the way, I you know we've had a couple of rev like revenge vengeance type things going on with the first two this week with with uh, White Fire and um, uh, what was the other one? I forget now. Rolling Thunder. I had it sitting right over here. That's the only reason I know. And then we did uh, uh, I can't remember what. Oh, I did Satan's Blade yesterday there was a little bit of revenge in there but there's definitely some bittersweet revenge in this one so check it out on that end tomorrow i have a very very good one a, a classic from when i was a child one that i watched watch at least once or twice a year and i will continue to it and and i love sharing this one with people that have never seen it because it's it's a must see for for any horror file in my opinion so tune in tomorrow for for uh, a good one. Tomorrow I will will have a better review. I swear, folks. This one was just kind of uh... all right, guys. I love your faces.